The worst survival anime ever in eight minutes. Hey, yo, I'm gonna go piss real quick. Five minutes later. I want some IP. What's going on in Miami, bro? What the no, hell is it? belongs to me. What is it doing? What is it doing? What is it? Oh, okay, it's killing it. Okay. Okay, it's killing it. I'll. You know what? That could have been worse. I'm glad it's killing her. Oh my god. The Island of Giant Insects. You're not watching hentai. I swear this is a regular movie. This one hour shit fest of a movie not only had me shaking my ass in disgust, but it might honestly be the second worst thing to have dropped in 2020. <laughs> Obviously, the worst was Sofago. All right, so the movie starts. You got these high school kids getting on a plane to go to Disneyland or some shit. I don't fucking know. They don't tell us. So they hop on a plane, yeah. somehow crash, and they find out this island is inhabited by gigantic fucking insects. And after Shorty got sucked dry like a Capri Sun, side character number 27 sees his wife who better get that butterfly BBC. Y'all see like how terrible the CGI is on the characters, bro? That's just... Uh. Bit like Sneeko, so he's just gonna watch. No, fuck that! Look at this stupid ass <laughs> get in the position he's in. This is why you should never try to save a hoe. <laughs> oh hell no, nah, nigga, I ain't dying from the ash. I like it, cut you. <laughs> <laughs> Even oh, running to know. So then our main character Matsumi and Tomboy pull up, find this nigga, and god damn, I need whatever kind of head this nigga just got. He got sucked dry. <laughs> anyway, so they start fighting back. This one pulls a knife out of thin fucking air like she's from the UK, tries to snap <laughs> the butterfly, but this nigga just eats it and gets his homies to come oh, jump her. Matsumi not gonna just sit there and watch her homie get gangbanged, so she starts cooking this nigga with a ghetto fireball no jutsu. Now that flamethrower was wide as hell. What type of deodorant is that? That you sprayed. That don't even make sense. Oh, the bitch is crying like, oh, oh my god, I just heard a bug. Man, that bug just tried to put you and your friends on inside Haven. Listen, I ain't set up for all this shit, man. I thought we were going to Disneyland. So they start arguing about what they should do next when Miss Titties over here starts sharing something. I think it's a helicopter. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, but who the fuck poses up like this to listen to something? So they start running towards the helicopter like, oh my god, guys, we're free. We're not going to die. Psych! It's a butterfly. The helicopter was a yeah. big ass wasp. I just yoinks this bitch and injects her with BBC juice. No homo, that shit looks like it. He is nutting from her mouth. That that wasp injected so much that it went to her buns to her mouth. Boss, that shit got shorty drool. We have to go save her. Save her? Save her? Oh, nigga, did you not just see that shit? But that's our friend. I don't know that bitch. She on her own. <laughs> Ladies, our friend, chill. Our friend relax. my ass. I know exactly what we should do. Mm -hmm. What is it? What Let's have you, a crazy This fort. is not a high schooler. I thought they were high schoolers, bro. Ain't no one built like this in high school. Actually, nowadays, y'all be built fucking crazy in high school. There'll be grown ass men in high school, bro. Some Tyrone, you sit your ass back and watch. Nigga, hey, shut, shut your, your ass, ass up. up. So they decided to go and save her since she's the only one who got a working phone. And they what? stumble upon this abandoned house the wasp are using as an Airbnb. So these How are y'all gonna fight in, it? Go up the stairs, open the door, it releases the booty sweat mist everywhere. And just like that, I'm demonetized. We're not looking at that shit. All I'm gonna say is there are some maggots doing some very inappropriate things. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish eating. That was disgusting. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish. Uh, I lied. Uh, nothing's gonna stop me. They start popping these little niggas like some gushers, and these niggas are just screaming out in pain. Not like this. Not like this. Help me. Ah, nigga, don't touch me. Ah, I would have ran too. Got some hoes. Get back here. Oh, no. I would have ran too. These niggas to die to fucking maggots. So while everybody's just sitting there mentally here. scarred, Matsumi is not even faced. She's still trying to go save her homie. But while I know. that wild was going on, Tyrone somehow found a working phone, and now everybody's like, "Yes, hey. that bitch can go home." But all of a sudden, this terrible CGI wasp pops out of the cut, holding someone, and Matsumi's like, "Don't worry, guys. It's just like a lion drone. Just don't move." Enemy drone incoming. Starting the clock. You gonna take the only person with the phone, huh? huh? Is that my nigga? It's. It's in my butt, bro. I'm coming, Genki. Oh, hey, you can go. BBC too. Oh, you idiot. No. Shut your ass up. Buzz, buzz. Where did he go? Man, whatever. F your friend, bro. Smash. My dog. Rest in peace to that man's booty hole. So douchebag goes to save his friend. Hey. Oh, wait, hold on. I got to give this man a name. What's the most... Let him die. Just douchebag name you can give somebody. Hmm. So Hunter Carl. opens up the door, finds his homie, and then immediately gets attacked. And Matsumi is just strolling in like, Hi, I'm here to deliver a DoorDash order for a uh, Why are they? Hunter? Oh my God. Why are they playing with this wasp? Like, they keep walking into the wasp home like, like they're not something serious. Like, they're not something to mess with. 
Like, it's a wasp, bro. Chill out. What? Yeah, just yeah, leave it right there. I'm Hunter. Anyway, so Matsumi takes my advice, starts spraying this wasp with some raid, and it actually worked. Now imagine if those niggas in Terraformers actually took my advice. They would still be here today. That. It would have worked. I've got to go save him. Oh my God, bro. Is dick riding all you do? Anyway, so outside, they start splashing the walls with water to attract the ops. And inside, they find their homies and get ready to dip. But Shorty is too weak to carry her friend by herself. So she asks this nigga for help. And he, he just said no. her ass. Got yep. hit with that karma instantly. Oh, wait. Never mind. I guess I guess it's just a convenient hole there just to save this nigga. So now she's stuck in there. Still trying to save her homegirl from doom. When the fucking beast. But she's the main character, so she has plot armor. So that we have no reason to feel bad for her. In fact, the other guy knew she was the main character too so there's no reason there's no reason for us to feel bad she about to she about to tee up watch ah finally gets in and puts this bug in an absolute pack then Ayumi pulls up out of nowhere See? and with the power of plot they both magically escape but i guys, told you me, it gets worse or better i don't know we're about to get a sex scene either way so now they're walking through the forest following a gps when they re i don't want a sex scene with insects realize they are in a nest of the most putrid horrifying absolute shit pissed water fucking awful bugs ever they are in a forest of ticks man one time i found a tick on my balls and on god i felt so violated so now imagine being this bitch right oh here god. not dead ass if i was her bro just shoot me just shoot the fuck out of me well, seeing that shit the quiet girl starts tweaking out what the fuck why are you screaming no come so this was from the anime review that we didn't click on earlier because we thought it was the same thing we already watched where they had to drink piss. No, they drunk. Yeah, they drunk like out of their butts. I thought this was the same thing. But it was. Oh, no. It was. This is not the same thing. That's the same thing as this. What do you mean? How am I the idiot? Y'all told me that these are different. So get off my dick. Causing all the ticks to attack. So this bitch mouths to me just grabs a stick and just whacks this bitch on the head so they can just dip while the ticks have an absolute feast on her. W. Wow, they did her so wrong. Shorty literally got left for dead. Anyways, fuck that bitch. Time to get to work. <laughs> Why? Man, this movie sucks. All right, so then they go to this facility that's just here for some reason, and they start looking around for clues as to why the fuck they got these giga insects everywhere. So Tyrone finds these computers, but before we can continue, of course we need more fan service. Duh. All right, now it's your turn. No homo. <laughs> oh, nigga, you gay. <laughs> Bro thinks he's the thinker. The power ain't even on, dog. Hey, what's that? Oh, well, that's, that's convenient. He turns on the power and starts <laughs> doctor whoing this shit investigating when he steps into a puddle of bug nuts. He's scary. I'm not gonna lie. He got the phone. He works the computers. He turns on the power. He is caring, bro. Hell no. Wait, why is the door opening? Don't tell me they're gonna kill him. Yeah, he was the only Yo. black character in the entire movie. It was only a matter of time. Y'all to... left him alone? Why did y'all leave him alone? Oh anyway, so right after that, Hunter's homie wakes up and is genuinely acting outlandish. This ain't even perks anymore, bro. Nigga smoked some really bad crack. Bro said, I can see everything. And starts sprinting like a homeless nigga who just saw Mr. Beast. He runs outside, starts <laughs> climbing this telephone tower, making peculiar ass noises. And Hunter's still over here trying to save him. Like, bro, I get it, your butt buddies. But dude's eyes are literally cosplaying a snail, nigga. This man is dead. Oh, hell no. This nigga trying to call the op. Helicopter, helicopter. Look at this fucking dragonfly, bro. It's so obvious they ran out of budget. <laughs> Eat me. Eat me. Eat me. Oh, shit, life. Oh. So now Hunter's sitting there. Not only is this show bad, it's disgusting, too. Like, I feel legitimately, like, weird. Like, I feel up. Morning is homie, like, gang. <laughs> Gaggy and Miss Titties grabs him, slaps his ass, and is like, I can't if I tweak that. And these two then run inside and pull the most unnecessary act of betrayal ever. Like, dead ass, what did they have to gain from that? Man, I'd be so mad if she didn't have them ooga boogas. So then Matsumi's homie wakes up and she's all, Where's Matsumi? Why can't I move? And Redhead dead ass tells the dude to put his d in her mouth to shut her up. <laughs> nah, fuck this bitch, bro. Why did she just last minute become a super villain? Anyway, so these niggas are. Why? Why? Okay. Okay. 
Like, he, like she can't just buy that shit off. A nigga like me? I ain't gang. I ain't gang. They're still outside fighting this bug for their lives when the door just opens and it turns out our nigga Tyrone didn't die. And he knocked those two lame ass. I told you he's carrying. He is carrying, bro. Oh my. Oh, that made me sad. Out. I'm so surprised bro is still alive. He must be mixed or some shit. All right, so now it's time for the final battle. The <laughs> weird bug girl versus the giant BBC dragonfly. So she starts walking out with a pillow or some shit. I have no clue what she's plotting, but let's let her cook. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm a dumbass. It was a blanket. So she slides down the tower, starts playing some terrible music to get its attention. She's getting the white kid out of some gorilla glue. I don't want to fuck this bitch. She smell like poo poo. This CGI cannot be real. What is this? She leads the bugs in a tower reveals her secret plan tricks it into going into the light like a dumbass and then just there's the fuck out of it w wow. plan and then they use promo code wool to get 10 percent off their game black man better black man eggs